Um, I'm throwing in a live scrimmage, get the first two guys out. I'm throwing the ball 88, 89 miles an hour. And that's not near what I was. And I, I was still pushing through it and everything else. And, and next thing you know, our pitching coach comes out, Josh Reynolds, and he looks at me and I have tears in my eyes because I'm in so much pain. And he says, you're done. I grew up 15 minutes north of St. Joseph in Savannah, Missouri, and graduated in 2012 from Savannah High School. Was drafted in the 32nd round by the Detroit Tigers. Um, opted to go to Kansas State instead um, and, and pursue a college baseball career. And then uh, hopefully the draft would come later. At my peak, I topped out at 95. Freshman year was a great year. Fortunate enough to start on the weekends in the Big 12. We, our team won the Big 12 that year, so became a Big 12 champion. Freshman year, uh, got off the plane from Corvallis, went to the doctor the next day, and found out I had an electron stress fracture. And here I was as a 19-year-old kid thinking, okay, just have this surgery and I'll be right back where I, where I was. I'm still under the operating table, and when they were putting the second screw in, a screw broke. Um, the doctor met with my parents. When they met with my parents, he said, I, I don't know what I can do. Well, they decided to take the screw out, um, drill out some bone from the screw, and next thing you know, I have too much bone missing. Find out I have to have another surgery on my arm, uh, go down to Dallas to the uh, Texas Rangers doctor. He takes bone marrow out of my hip, plugs it into my elbow, and then redoes the surgery. I had so much bone missing from the first surgery that the bone marrow didn't take. And there went my baseball career. It was, it was done. Uh, the doctor that did my first surgery a week after the surgery committed suicide. Obviously, there were there was depression that went on. There was there was thoughts of, man, should you have taken that offer out of high school? Should you have went and lived your dream out of high school? Because now you're no longer going to get a do. The way I was always raised, I mean, just from my parents and from my grandparents and everything else, you always keep your head down and you keep moving forward. The, th the thing that I always tell guys is if the opportunity comes, great, good for you. You know, you're always working for that opportunity, but life brings you other things. There's always something else. And if you take care of everything that you're going through, it's all gonna work out in the long run. People ask me all the time, do you wish you would have taken the money out of high school? Get over here. Do you wish you would have said you would have signed for $200,000? No. I wouldn't change a single thing I've done. That's a good choice, Set boy. People think I'm crazy for that because I'd be $100,000 richer, but it's not about that. I, I have grown so many ways in maturity as being a 24 year old, you know, being able to teach these guys this stuff. That's, this is honestly what I feel like I was brought here to do. My, my parents, this is what they raised me to do. It wasn't to have that money in my pocket. It was to get through these tough times to be able to impact other people's lives. And yeah, I thought I, thought I was gonna make it. Other people thought I was gonna make it, but I wouldn't change a single second that has gone on in my life.